Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to explore two powerful tools in research and applied behavior analysis. Understanding these methods will not only enhance your research skills, but also deepen your ability to interpret studies and apply findings in practice. Let's start by unraveling these concepts and distinguishing between them. Later, we'll test our understanding with some mock exams. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Component analysis involves dissecting an intervention into its individual elements to understand which parts are effective and to what extent each contributes to the outcome. This approach helps in identifying the active ingredients of a treatment package, determining their relative contributions, and establishing which components are necessary and sufficient for the intervention to be effective. Let's look some examples. Behavioral intervention for autism. Analysis. A comprehensive behavioral intervention program for children with autism might include discrete trial training, social skills groups, and parent training. Through component analysis, researchers could systematically remove or isolate each element, for example. Conducting the intervention without the social skills group to evaluate its impact on the children's progress. Finding. This could reveal, for instance, that discrete trial. Training and parent training are critical for improving specific behavioral outcomes. While the social skills group contributes more to social interaction improvements. Multi-component treatment for depression. Analysis. A treatment for depression might combine cognitive behavioral therapies, medication, and exercise. Component analysis might involve comparing patient outcomes under the full treatment package versus treatment without the exercise component, and then without medication, etc. Finding The analysis might show that while all components contribute to improving patient outcomes, CBT has the most substantial effect on long-term mood regulation, indicating its necessity in the treatment package. Educational Program for Literacy Analysis An educational program designed to improve literacy might include phonics, instruction, reading aloud, and written exercises. Through component analysis, removing or focusing on one component at a time, for example, Implementing the program without phonics instruction could help in understanding the contribution of each component to students' reading skills. Finding Such analysis might reveal that phonics instruction is essential for early readers to grasp the basics of reading, highlighting its necessity in the literacy program. Comparative analysis contrasts two or more interventions. Strategies or conditions to determine which is more effective or to understand the differences in their outcomes. This type of analysis is essential for decision making in selecting the most appropriate or effective approach among several alternatives. Let's look some examples. Two therapies for anxiety. Analysis comparing the effectiveness of mindfulness based stress reduction. Sir and Cognitive Behavioral Therapy for Treating Anxiety Disorders Participants are randomly assigned to receive either MBSR or CBT, and their outcomes are compared. Finding This could show that while both therapies reduce anxiety, CBT might have a quicker impact, whereas MBSR offers better long-term anxiety management helping to guide therapy selection based on patient needs, diet plans for weight loss, analysis, comparing the effectiveness of a low-carb diet versus a low-fat diet on weight loss and cardiovascular health in adults. Participants follow one of the diets, and their weight loss and heart health are monitored and compared. Finding the analysis might reveal that the low-carb diet leads to quicker weight loss, while the low-fat diet is more beneficial for long-term cardiovascular health. 
providing guidance for diet plan selection based on individual health goals. Educational Approaches to Math Learning Analysis A comparative analysis between a traditional lecture based approach and a Hansen problem-solving approach to teaching mathematics to high school students. The analysis assesses which method leads to better student performance and engagement. Finding Findings could indicate that the problem-solving approach significantly enhances students' engagement and understanding of complex math concepts compared to the lecture-based method. Key difference between component and comparative analysis Component analysis seeks to dissect a single intervention or treatment package to identify and evaluate the contribution of its individual components. It's about understanding what makes an intervention work by looking inward at its elements. On the other hand, comparative analysis contrasts different interventions, treatments, or approaches to determine which is more effective or to understand their respective strengths and weaknesses. It's about looking outward to compare different options against each other. Let's practice with some mock exams. Mock exam 1. An ABI therapist wants to determine the most effective components of a comprehensive intervention. Program for children with autism. The program includes discrete trial training, natural environment training, and parent-mediated interventions. The therapist conducts a study where each component is isolated and implemented individually to assess its impact on specific learning outcomes. What type of analysis is the therapist conducting? 1. Parametric 2. Nonparametric 3. Component analysis 4. Comparative analysis Correct answer is 1. Component analysis. The therapist is conducting a component analysis by isolating and evaluating each component of the intervention program to determine their individual contributions to the children's learning outcomes. This is aimed at identifying the active elements within a single treatment package rather than comparing different intervention programs. 1. Parametric and 2. Nonparametric. These options refer to types of statistical analysis based on data distribution assumption. Rather than the design of a study to identify effective components of an intervention, the question is about the methodology of isolating intervention components, not about the statistical tests used to analyze the outcomes. 4. Comparative analysis. While it might seem relevant because it involves comparison, comparative analysis compares different interventions or treatments against each other. In this case, the focus is on analyzing the effectiveness of components within a single intervention, making comparative analysis an incorrect choice. Mock Exam 2 A research study compares the effectiveness of two behavioral interventions, pivotal response training. An early intensive behavioral intervention e in improving social communication skills in children with autism. The study measures outcomes such as increased verbal initiations and improved social interactions. What type of analysis is being conducted? 1. Parametric. 2. Nonparametric. 3. Component analysis. 4. Comparative analysis. Correct answer is 2. Comparative analysis. This study is an example of comparative analysis as it directly compares two distinct behavioral interventions, PRT and EIBI, to determine which is more effective in enhancing social communication skills among children with autism. The focus is on contrasting the overall effectiveness of different treatments. 1. Parametric and 2. Nonparametric similar to the first exam. 
These options are incorrect because they describe types of statistical analysis, not methods of evaluating the efficacy of interventions. The question pertains to the comparison of entire interventions, not the statistical properties of the data. 3. Component analysis. This option is incorrect because the study does not aim to break down a single intervention into its parts to see which part is effective instead. It compares two complete, distinct interventions to see which one produces better outcomes. Mock Exam 3. Assessing Components of a Classroom Management Strategy Question Statement An educator implements a classroom management strategy that includes a token economy system, a visual schedule, and a timeout for disruptive behavior. Wanting to identify which components most significantly reduce disruptive behaviors, the educator sequentially removes one component at a time while monitoring the frequency of disruptive behaviors. What type of analysis is the educator conducting? 1. Parametric 2. Nonparametric 3. Component analysis 4. Comparative analysis Correct answer is 1. Component analysis the educator is performing a component analysis by systematically removing each component of the classroom management strategy to assess its contribution to reducing disruptive behaviors. This approach helps to isolate the effects of individual components within the same intervention. 1. Parametric and 2. Nonparametric Again, these refer to statistical methods not the process of evaluating individual elements of a strategy. The focus of the question is on the methodology for assessing the effectiveness of different components of a classroom management strategy. 4. Comparative analysis. This is incorrect because the educator's goal is not to compare different classroom management strategies as a whole but to understand the contribution of each component within a single strategy. Mock Exam 4 A study investigates the impact of two educational approaches on reading comprehension among elementary school students. One group of students is taught using phonics-based instruction, while another group receives whole-language instruction. Reading comprehension scores are compared between the two groups after a semester. What type of analysis is being conducted? 1. Parametric 2. Nonparametric 3. Component analysis 4. Comparative analysis Correct answer is 2. Comparative This scenario illustrates comparative analysis as it involves Comparing the outcomes of two distinct educational approaches phonics-based instruction this whole language instruction to determine which is more effective in improving reading comprehension among students. 1. Parametric and 2. Nonparametric These are incorrect for the same reasons as above. They concern data analysis rather than the comparison of different educational approaches. Three. Component analysis. Incorrect because the study's aim is not to examine the parts of a single educational approach, but to compare the effectiveness of two distinct approaches in their entirety. Mock Exam 5. A mental health clinic introduces a stress reduction program that combines mindfulness, meditation, exercise, and dietary changes. To identify which elements contribute most to reducing stress levels in participants, the clinic conducts an assessment where each element is offered independently to different groups of participants. Stress levels are measured before and after the intervention. What type of analysis is being conducted? 1. Parametric 2. Nonparametric 3. Component analysis 4. Comparative analysis
Correct answer is 1. Component analysis. The clinic is utilizing component analysis by separately offering each element of the stress reduction program to different groups and measuring its impact on stress levels. This method aims to isolate and evaluate the effectiveness of each component within the same intervention program, determining the necessary and sufficient elements for stress reduction. 1. Parametric and 2. Nonparametric. These options are focused on the statistical analysis method which is not what the question is asking. The question is about isolating and evaluating the effectiveness of different components of a program. 4. Comparative analysis. This choice is incorrect because, although the study involves comparison, it is not comparing different programs against each other, but rather examining the effectiveness of each element within a single program to see which contributes most to reducing stress. Mock Exam 6. A researcher conducts a study on the effectiveness of a new teaching method on student reading comprehension scores. The data collected from the study follows a normal distribution. The researcher decides to use a statistical test that assumes a normal distribution of data to compare the reading scores before and after the intervention. What type of statistical test is the researcher likely using? 1. Parametric. 2. Nonparametric. 3. Component analysis. 4. Comparative analysis. Correct answer is 1. Parametric. The correct answer is parametric because parametric tests assume the data follows a normal distribution and are used to compare means, which is suitable for analyzing the effectiveness of the teaching method based on reading comprehension scores. Nonparametric tests are used when data does not follow a normal distribution. Component analysis is incorrect because the scenario does not involve dissecting the intervention into its elements. Comparative analysis is not the focus here. The scenario describes analyzing the effect of a single intervention, not comparing different interventions. Mock Exam 7. A study compares the efficacy of cognitive behavioral therapy and dialectical behavior therapy in reducing symptoms of anxiety in adults. The researchers use a statistical method that does not assume a normal distribution of data. What type of analysis is primarily being conducted? 1. Parametric. 2. Nonparametric. 3. Component analysis. 4. Comparative analysis. Correct answer is 4. Comparative analysis. The correct answer is comparative analysis, because the study focuses on comparing the outcomes of two different interventions CBT versus DBT to determine which is more effective. The mention of a statistical method that does not assume normal distribution suggests nonparametric tests might be used, but the key activity is comparing two therapies, making comparative analysis the primary focus. Parametric is incorrect because it implies the data follows a normal distribution. Component analysis is incorrect because the scenario does not involve evaluating individual components of a single intervention. Mock Exam 8. An ABA therapist wants to identify which specific strategies within multi-component intervention for increasing social skills in children with autism are most effective. The therapist systematically varies the presence of each strategy to observe its impact on social interaction outcomes. What type of analysis is the therapist conducting? 1. Parametric. 2. Nonparametric. 3. Component analysis. 4. Comparative analysis. Correct answer is 3. Component analysis. 
Component analysis is correct because the therapist is dissecting the intervention into individual strategies to assess their contributions to the effectiveness of the overall treatment package. This approach is aimed at isolating the active components of the intervention. Parametric and nonparametric are types of statistical tests, not methods of analysis related to the design of the study, making them incorrect choices. Comparative analysis is also incorrect because the focus is on evaluating the elements within a single intervention rather than comparing different interventions. Mock Exam 9 In a study assessing the impact of a token economy system on classroom behavior, the data collected did not follow a normal distribution. The researcher decides to use a statistical test appropriate for comparing median scores from the token economy system to a control group without the intervention. What type of statistical test is the researcher likely using? 1. Parametric 2. Nonparametric 3. Component analysis 4. Comparative analysis Correct answer is 2. Nonparametric. Nonparametric is the correct answer. Because nonparametric tests are suitable for data that do not follow a normal distribution and are used to compare medians or rank data. Fitting the scenario of comparing the token economy system to a control group. Parametric tests assume a normal distribution, making them incorrect for this scenario. Component analysis and comparative analysis refer to types of study designs or analysis rather than statistical tests, making them incorrect choices in the context of selecting an appropriate statistical method. Mock Exam 10 A researcher is interested in understanding how the amount of time spent on homework affects students' math performance. The study involves collecting data on hours spent on homework and math test scores from a large sample of students. The data follows a normal distribution. The researcher aims to determine the relationship between time spent on homework and math performance. What type of analysis is primarily being conducted? 1. Parametric 2. Nonparametric 3. Component analysis 4. Comparative analysis Correct answer is 1. Parametric. Parametric is correct because, given that the data follows a normal distribution, the researcher is likely to use parametric tests to analyze the relationship between time spent on homework and math. Performance, typically involving correlation or regression analysis. Nonparametric is incorrect because these tests are used for data that do not follow a normal distribution. Component analysis is incorrect as the study does not dissect an intervention into its elements. Comparative analysis is also incorrect because the study's focus is on the relationship between two variables, not on comparing different groups or interventions. That's all today. Hope you understand well about component analysis and comparative analysis. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe channel. Thanks for watching.